Yep. Go ahead. So when did you stop growing? Stop? <laughs> God, that's a great question. <laughs> uh, I couldn't really tell you. Probably freshman year, freshman year of college, I would say. When probably you... hit like six nine, six ten, right around there, and I just stopped. When did you uh, you realize you were going to be the tallest person in every room you walk into? Uh, I was pretty young. Um, in sixth grade, I was six foot, so I, I don't really remember the years that correlate with that, but um, when I was younger, I was always taller than every student, and then I got to sixth grade, and I was finally taller than my teachers, and so I'm like, oh, this is this is how it's going to be for the rest of my life, probably, so I kind of just lived with it and just went with it, so I was like, all right, I'm, I'm just me, so it's part of me, it's who I am. I love it. I hate it. It's every which way of it, so. How'd you, uh, how'd you end up playing football, not, not basketball? Uh, that's a good <laughs> So uh, actually, I was a swimmer before a football player. So I went swimming, and I started growing, and I started eating a lot of food. And so my grandpa came down uh, to our house, and he's like, all right, you need to play some like contact football. And we're like, all right. So I turned six, and we got me on a team that summer. And my uh, family didn't really love it, so they put my grandpa's name on the back of my jersey for the first year or two. And then they slowly came around, and they're like, all right, yeah, you're going to be a football player. <laughs> How did he pick up the yeah, that, that was also a young one. Um, I think I was in middle school when my uh, old uh, head football coach called me. He's like, you're a beast. So it would be like, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we need a nickname for you. He's like, dang, because he's a military guy. And so we're like, okay, cool. I'll run with it. And ever since then, everyone's going to be the same. Was it always tackle? Tackle for you? Do you play any defense kind of? Yeah, uh, I played no tackle, D tackle, um, defense end. You know, I got on the edge a couple times. Uh, Definitely offensive tackle pretty much my whole offensive career. Uh, high school, they threw me in the backfield once or twice for the short yards, you know. How fun was that? It was amazing. I loved it, but it sucked getting hit by the small guys below the knees, you know. But uh, it was a great experience. I loved it. Um, I mean, football is everything for me, so I can't complain where I'm at or what I'm doing with it. How do you adjust on the line, like you said, when you're so much taller than everyone else? You know, when someone's shorter, how do you make sure you're in the right position to be able to block them effectively? Um, that kind of just comes with, like, the territory of just being huge. You have to, like, address other people. So, like, when I came in with you guys, I didn't want to stand super close because the camera's going to be too far or too close. <laughs> so I try to take a step back even when I'm talking to people so I'm not looking down on them. So it's kind of like the same approach with football. So, like, I know you're going to be shorter, you're probably going to be quicker. You're going to be uh, a little taller, a little beefier. You're going to be more of a power guy. So I kind of just adjust it. And that kind of comes with just years of playing football. You know, uh, high school, my uh, brain, like my uh, terminology wasn't quite there. College is slowly developed and schemes. So everything there kind of like developed me from like freshman year of college to now. And so like now I can just look at a body type and kind of understand what they're going to run, what kind of guy they're going to be, what kind of moves they're going to throw. Do you have a preference? Yeah, the tall, skinny guys, easily. The tall, skinny guys that look like they're going to be fast, but are definitely slow off the ball, and you're just kind of sitting there like, all right, this is going to be fun. But, you know, uh, every body type's a little fun. They all have their different, like, unique things that come with it, so. Do you think that gives you a little bit of a unique advantage, just that you kind of have to process that with each guy, whereas maybe some tackles don't have to? Um, I think it gives me an advantage, but also gives a disadvantage of being so tall. Like in pass pro, if I get up, I'm going to get hands to the chest, you know. Even though I'm longer than the guy, he can still get underneath me and still have leverage. So it's definitely harder when I'm going backwards and if I'm not quite used to it yet, I'm just going to get right in the chest and I'm just like, all right, I need to fix this somehow, some way. But I think uh, definitely here is uh, definitely an advantage because they have me going in three point when we have tight ends over. So I haven't played three point in four years probably. So getting down to that three-point stance has really helped me like understand like different leverage points and different height. So it's pretty fun. Why did you uh, go looking for another school? Um, I think it was just time for me to leave. Um, I had a rough season at Colorado on my last year. Uh, I was playing through some things, uh, playing through them some things, and I just didn't feel loved there anymore. Um, all my recruiting class pretty much left. Uh, all my friends left, and it was kind of just a whole new phase of teams. So uh, I kind of went where I knew I knew some of the guys. I knew that I was going to be part of the team and not just on the outskirts of it. Um, and the coaching staff here has something huge coming. I can't wait to see what's going on. And, you know, I trust everything that they have and what they're playing for because I've had the van as a coach before at Colorado in 22, I think it was. And, you know, I love this place now. He called me up when I was in the portal and he was like, he didn't offer me anything. I didn't want anything. He was just telling me, like, you need to do this, this, and this, and you can fix that. And, you know, like, okay. You know, I'm sold on that. I love being a coach. Uh, I had a great season with him when he was there. It was uh, my first starting season, so I have a lot of trust and faith in him and the coaching staff he gave me. How much were you trying to adjust to a new offensive line? Makes it easier when you got a guy like Wells, you know, someone who you're, you're used to playing with. The, you know, how much did you 
like that kind of really help? Yeah, so um, definitely having some guys on the line that I will just bam really that I kind of knew. Um, it helps a little bit, you know. I can I know his play style. I know what he likes to do. I kind of I don't know what's in his brain going on all the time, but I can have an idea of where he's at and what he's thinking. But um, you know, it's still finding the chemistry because no matter if you play with them once or play with them a thousand times, you still have to find a chemistry each year because different people's different schemes, just different styles. So even though me and Bam knew each other, I still trust him and have everything to do with him, but it's just a little different here. So it definitely gives me a little bit of a foot up because I know him and I know what he likes to do, but I definitely still like, it's still a chemistry that you have to keep uh, building with. With so many new faces in that group, how big is it to have a guy like Josh Gray who's been here for quite some time and kind of be the leader of that group? And what does he bring to that group? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, Josh, <laughs> Josh is uh, the old man of the group, I like to say. I thought I was for a while, but it's not me, it's Josh. Um, and him being here for the length he has been, I don't really know the exact years or anything, but you know, he has the leadership capabilities. He knows what he's doing. He knows inside and out. He's a smart guy. He's a smart football guy. Um, really, he, he brings experience, capability, and like teaching skills. I look at him as another coach, but on the line with me because he knows what he's doing. He's played tackle. He played tackle last year and the years before. So. If I have a question about how to set specific defense, because this defense is new to me too with Coach Brett. And then, um, so I just kind of asked him, he's like, yeah, yeah, I would set like this because I've done it against him a couple times. I'm like, okay. So I kind of have that with me at all times, and it's really nice to have. Um, and he's just, he's a smart dude. He's really smart. He's strong as hell too. I have to ask, do you, do you, do you have a game of basketball? Do you, do you have much game there? Or do you have any game? <laughs> no, I don't. I played one year in high school and I hated it and I never played again. Is it the running or? Just it's not physical. So, like, oh, so, it's oh. not physical enough, you know. Um, I like, I would always try to shoulder check people, you know. Uh, I see a ball, get a ball, you know, you can't do that in <laughs> basketball. Um, but, you know, I played a year. It was cool. Um, it wasn't my favorite thing ever, but it, it was enjoyable. And how were you as a swimmer? Swimmer, um, I was young, so I mean, I think I was pretty average, but, you know, my parents said I was great, so. so well, that that is a sport for tall people. Right? It is, it is. Um, uh, I kind of just wanted to do something different. My sister swam. She swam for a long time, and I kind of was just like, I want to go try something else, so I wanted to play for yeah. yeah. How tall is she? Uh, she was 5'10". So how much of the outlier in your family are you? Uh, that's it. I'm like, my family's tall. My mom's six foot. Uh, my sister is 5'10". My brother's about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Uh, my cousins are from 6'4 to 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, so we're a pretty tall family. Um, I think our only allies are like our aunts or real late cousins who are a little shorter around like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, you know. Are you the only one that's made it this far in football? Or yes. Others? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm the only one that has made it to a D1 for football in my family. 